Hey, what's up, guys? Bathtub Gaming here, back with the 50th episode of Bathtub Talk. What a milestone. Today, I wanted to talk to you all about... <sighs> Fallout. Now, if you couldn't tell by that sigh, I'm a huge Fallout fan. I've been for a little while now. And as a Fallout fan in 2024, these last couple years have felt like I've just been getting the absolute shit kicked out of me by my older brother, Bethesda. It's been rough. Fallout 76 when it came out, was fundamentally broken on every single level, and today it's a grindy, money-hungry, poorly designed looter shooter that misunderstands everything that makes Fallout special and breaks huge pieces of the universe's lore. And no, Atlantic City update and the pit update didn't fix shit. It sucks. Like, if this game was a car, it would be a 2002 Nissan Altima that's on fire. And no matter how much they try to fix it, or how much they try to put out that fire, it's still a 2002 Nissan Altima, which is not a good video game. So not only did Fallout 76 suck ass and still sucks ass, but Fallout 76 is the only Fallout video game content we will have for a long ass time. With Bethesda just starting development on the Elder Scrolls 6, even though, let me remind you guys, they announced it almost six years ago. Fallout 5 is absolutely nowhere in the horizon, and it probably won't be until like the mid-2030s. So when I think about Fallout now, I feel like I'm being exposed to a lethal dose of radiation and just want to flop stiffly backwards dead. And that's because I'm a Fallout fan. While there isn't a mainline Fallout game coming down Bethesda's pipeline for a long, long time, there is something coming out, and that's the Fallout show. Which, from the trailers, looks awesome. When I hear that, I don't want to set the world on fire, dubstep, substep, remix shit played to the post-apocalyptic shots of LA, the Fallout fan inside of me just goes, YES! But also, the Fallout fan inside of me who's been scarred over these last five issues just says, FUCK! And I'd like to talk more about that today. This video is going to be basically therapy for me as a Fallout fan. And me going over my reservations and worries about how this show has the potential to get a lot of things right and fuck a lot of shit up also. So let's dive in, shall we? They got Walter Goggins, an amazing actor. I loved him in Hateful Eight. He also plays Cecil in Invincible. Like, wow, what an amazing actor. Some of these sets look straight out of the games and just captures the Fallout vibe so well. They also got the Pridwin from Fallout 4. That's a red flag, okay. Jonathan Nolan, the director for three of the episodes. He's created CBS Person of Interest along with co-creating Westworld. Amazing. He also has an executive producer credit for the show. And then you have this other big executive producer on the show. This guy. I do not trust this man. This name right here is the biggest red flag for this show. After Todd Howard's continuous sweet little lies over the years, and his magnum opus, or as I think of it, the magnum dump he took in August called Starfield, fool me once Todd, shame on me. Fool me twice, you're an asshole. But it's not so much his name tacked onto the project that worries me, it's that he's confirmed the Fallout TV show is canon to everything else so the show is canon to all of these games which means if the show changes something about these games lore it technically retcons whatever that is the fallout show takes place in california and in the fallout universe california has a massive amount of established lore from these three games so let's use the ncr for example they're a big faction based in california but in fallout new vegas they're one of the major factions that has an ending in that game and because the tv show takes place after new vegas whatever the tv show decides to do with this faction will then in turn decide what actually happened in the ending of new vegas in a role playing game like New Vegas, and that can go for any of these games, that gives you the power to interact with its world and characters however you see fit through its multiple mission endings and branching paths, where any one of these four major endings could be viable because of how well written they are, and they have been seriously debated for the last like 14 years by fans like me, which I'm a big fan of the theory that the king shakes and shimmies his way into power the strip with his 
life rockin' moves. Don't try to tell me that's not canon, Roger, you know you're wrong. The aspect of any of these endings in New Vegas being canon is one of the things that makes New Vegas special. And it's kinda fucking lame that a TV show is not only gonna tell me if the NCR ending is canon or not, but in them doing that, I feel like it kinda takes something away from New Vegas. There are already some things in the trailers that have me really worried, such as the giant floating steel suppository, the Pridwin. Like, the main worry being, how the fuck is it there? In Fallout 1, 2, and New Vegas, they're a reclusive faction who prioritizes confiscating and using pre-war technologies, mainly weapons, for their own benefit. They're bigots and assholes and have this ultimate No nerds allowed in our clubhouse, blizzard frat boy culture, where's the titty milk? No, you can't use our laser guns, mom! They go from being the most powerful faction in Fallout 1, and then by the time New Vegas rolls around, they're a side faction. I mean, they're not even in competition anymore. They're in a war with the NCR in California, and they're losing. I'm worried they'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want. We defend our interests to the death. But there's a handful of us, and tens or hundreds of thousands of them. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. If they're a faction who has been reduced to hiding in bunkers because of a failing ideology, and at the same time are losing a war not only because of this ideology failing, but because they lack the military manpower to actually combat the NCR. But at the same time in the show, they're not only not in bunkers anymore, but they're out in the open now with a fucking Pridwin, what? So for the Brotherhood to have a Pridwin on the West Coast, it could mean a couple of things. A, the West Coast Brotherhood has their own Pridwin, which just canonically doesn't make sense, not only because they're reclusive hermits that are losing a war, but we've never seen them have this technology on the West Coast either. So this must mean option B, the Brotherhood from the East Coast came all the way to the West Coast with the Pridwin, which means the Brotherhood in the trailers is the East Coast Brotherhood, which could make sense, but the Fallout show takes place after Fallout 4, which must mean the Brotherhood ending of Fallout 4 is the only canonical Fallout 4 ending because spoilers and every other ending, the Pridwin fucking explodes. So if this is the way, Bethesda's confirming that the Brotherhood ending of Fallout 4 is canon. That's kind of fucking lame. To me personally, I like the ending where the Brotherhood of Steel explodes. Because to me, their ending is so boring, it's just a copy and paste of their Fallout 3 ending. Let's talk about the NCR or lack of NCR. Now I know you actually see some of the NCR Brotherhood conflict in the trailers. Of course I'm guessing these are them, but the thing is in the games, the NCR is the size of a small government that comprises all of Southern California. They have a uniformed military and what you'd consider the closest thing to a modern day democracy. So who the fuck are these guys? This is the NCR? This looks like a ragtag group of rebels ready to fight the Empire. The NCR literally had bureaucrats and shit in New Vegas. Vertebirds, a goddamn president. While in Fallout New Vegas, their army was considered stretched thin even back then, they were still winning a war back on their home soil of Southern California because of their overwhelming manpower. Did the NCR just fucking implode? Where are they? I know the NCR was corrupt, but I didn't think there was any signs of them folding in on themselves like that. They show a Shady Sands reference in the show, and it looks destroyed, but the thing is, in the games, Shady Sands is a very prominent city acting as the capital of the New California Republic, and it also has one of the largest populations in the NCR territory. So what did the Brotherhood just fucking bomb everyone there? Does the city just not exist anymore? Where are the people? I don't know, dude. I don't- I'm not like a fucking nut job about lore and shit. Little shit doesn't bother me. Like the power armor faceplate flipping up like discount Iron Man, sure, whatever. It looks stupid as fuck, but I don't care. They're obviously gonna make some changes. Everything I've said it in this video, I hope I'm wrong. I ho I'm looking forward to being wrong about everything I said in this video. I don't want the show to shit on all the stuff I like from the games and retcon all of that stuff because the games are amazing experiences with some of the best world building I've ever seen in any media. And I don't want that retcon for something lesser. So trust me when I say, I don't want the show to suck ass and change a bunch of shit. <sighs> 
Now that I've gotten all this off my chest and my therapy session is coming to an end, I can recognize the show probably won't be an awful mess that ruins everything I care about and blah 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 because that already happened, that's Fallout 76. I'm excited for this show and although I have my reservations, I think I'm going to enjoy it. I think this inner fear that's causing me to pray that this show won't suck really does come from a place of love for these games. I love Fallout, and I will continue to love Fallout through all of its rough patches. And at the end, if there's one thing I really have to say about this show before it comes out, is I hope it's able to really capture what makes Fallout, Fallout, in its own way. And hey, at least I can be happy I'm not a Borderlands fan. Look at this cast, you guys! You guys got fucking screwed with that one!